Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make an ebook in Canva. Canva.com. It's one of my favorite things to use for quick and easy stuff. So I'm going to go to this A4 setting. You actually don't want to come down here and do the ebook setting because this is just a cover and it's not what you should actually format your whole book in for it to universally be okay for platforms, okay? So Amazon accepts this. Um, most everything, even on mobile applications, it looks really great. I do have three ebooks, they are on my website, and so I've all created all of them this way instead. The first one I did in Word and it was trash, and so I kind of had to redo it. But basically, if you go to A4, there's all these templates on the side, all this stuff. Um, some of these are good to start out with some of this is like resumes and all of that they do a lot of different things in canva so you have to make sure that you're getting the right option and sometimes playing around with them can help but also for people like me i like to create stuff from scratch um i just don't want to see anybody else with my format you know but for this purpose i'm going to show you maybe using one of these let's see do we like one do we like one <laughs> I'm not quite sure if I like one, but, um, yeah, basically this is gonna, okay, I'm gonna start with this because I want the element that it has. So I really like that the whole picture is cover, covering the entire page. So I'm actually gonna go over to uploads and I'm gonna upload this picture I got from pexels.com. It's a really amazing tool. I'll link it down below. Free copyrighted photos. Oh, don't mind my hair photos right here, guys. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag and drop it. And that has a filter on it. I'm not sure if I like the filter. Do I like the filter? No. I don't like the filter. I like it like that because it's already dark. If you want to rotate or move your picture, you can definitely change positions. So I think I like it right there. So um, that's a huge part of that double by cl double clicking so the next thing I'm gonna do is I kinda do like these fonts but you can play around with fonts a lot so um, I'm gonna make up a book okay how to uh, what do we want to do how to start a YouTube channel on your phone. I'm going to add it. And you can also change like if you want it to be in the center. I'm going to play around these. I just want to make it like that. And then letter spacing. I don't want the letters to be that far apart. Line height. I kind of want to be closer together. I actually am going to change it. You can upload your own fonts. Um, you can upload your own fonts to Canva for work. So I'm going to do that. Uh, let's see, I'm going to use this one. I just like to use these ones to start out. How to start a YouTube channel on your... I'll put iPhone just because I have an iPhone. And it's kind of important to be specific with those things. So that needs to be a lot, a lot bigger. <laughs> Don't ask me why I do accents sometimes. It's too big. Let's take it down. Take it down. Take it down. Okay. Let's see. Golden. Caps. Golden. Oh, it's still golden youth. But yeah, you can play around. You can look through all their fonts. Their free fonts are cool too, but I like to... I got this font from Creative Market. Creative market. Actually, I'm not really liking how this is looking. Let's see. How to. Let's do how to start. And it's going to be important for you to do it like this, guys. A. Then I'm going to delete this one. So A. And then I'm going to go to elements. And I'm going to type in YouTube. And all these elements, when you see the golden crown, those are not free um, on basic accounts. But then you'll see that there is some stuff. 
that is for free. You know, whatever one you feel like you want to use the most. I think that I'm going to go with the classic situation. It's too big. Um, so now I'm going to rotate it because I just like the way that that looks. It's going to show me all the alignments. How to start YouTube that's going to represent the channel on your phone. So the background looks a little bit too light for some of the wording, but I'm going to fix this first. So I'm going to put bye, Wuzzy P. How about that? Okay. So one of the ways that I fix that is I go to elements yet again. And instead of putting anything up there, elements, shapes, just going to grab the nearest square. It automatically goes to black on mine because I set it that way. So unless you set it that way, it's not going to happen. And then I'm going to do transparency and I'm going to drag it down, arrange back, 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 back. There you go. You still see the picture. But the stuff on top is, and you can do it as light or as dark as you want, but I want those words to really pop out. So that's how you do that, okay? So the next thing that you're going to want to do is add a page. So this is just like adding pages to your book. This is just the intro first page. Then with the second page, something that I would do that I really want to show you guys is awesome on all of my ebooks. Yes, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to go to some pictures I already have. It's one of my favorite pictures of myself. I know. you. We all do it. We all have favorite pictures. So this is a PNG of one of the pictures of myself. Okay. I'm actually going to make her smaller. Get smaller, Lizzie. Get smaller. No, crazy. I'm crazy. And I kind of chopped it because it was a longer picture than that. So sometimes you'll have that. I kind of want it in the corner. Looking up, okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is go to fonts, and I'm going to say meet the author, okay, this is a great page and way for you to connect with people, and I'm going to put that in the top corner, most of the things I do are actually really girly. This is not going to be girly at all, just because it's an example, you know. Um, you could put yourself in a little frame, window, bubble. I kind of just using that because I have that. And then if you want to write a, I don't know, bio about yourself. So I'm going to say, and I'm going to switch this to the left-hand side of the page. Hey! It's me, Lizzie P. Okay. I am in <laughs> author, speaker, and creative entrepreneur. Okay. So let's just pretend. <laughs> Like I had a million other things to say. I'm going to want to check the alignment. And let's just say this was like a whole paragraph, okay? So I'm going to spread it out and I'm going to check the points. See how those pop up for a proper alignment, okay? Um, let me just add a little bit more. This font may not look the best in this size because I'm only at 41% if you see down here. As far as zooming, but 100% it would look all right. Um, author, speaker, creative entrepreneur. I have started many businesses. <laughs> I'm just joking. Guys. From my phone. So I thought... Why not teach you how to do the same? Okay, I'm just going to stop there. But the thing that I want to show you guys that is key, clutch, critical, and so legit. If you want to link your actual things for people to follow you, you can insert here. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this link, okay? And then you can put in YouTube. Oh, it's going to ask for the HTTP. HTTPS that um, YouTube.com slash um, bossy behavior. Okay. Apply. So now when people download my book and they're looking at it on a mobile website or they're looking at it on um, their phone or their tablet or whatever they're reading it from, they can click this. And it's actually a link to my YouTube channel. You can also do this with Twitter. And you can do it with Facebook. I just want to show you guys that. You can do it with Instagram. If you like to stunt on the gram. And if you would like to do something for your website and you want to do um, computer. So they have all these different versions. There is a MacBook version and there is a... No, it's better than that. There is another... Oh, so you can insert a thing. So you can insert this and you can actually put a picture of your website in there if you would like to and then you can just link it and it'll go directly to your website okay so if you want your page to be set up directly like this you can hit copy pages so that's gonna copy to a third page right super dope then if you want to delete elements you can delete right so say I wanted this to be my body of my paragraph and I wanted this to be the chapter um, so first chapter is brainstorm and go. Okay. So then I would take my paragraph and I would add it right there. You can also like take this from another app. So sometimes I take stuff from Evernote and I just drag and drop it in here that I've written in Evernote. And you're going to keep going. So here is the clutch part, the key part that you're not going to want to make a mistake on. You're going to want to copy pages instead of adding a new page. That will just make it faster for your copy and paste scenario. Um, from Word, documents, whatever, all of that, right? But Canva only lets you get to 27 pages. So you're going to want to go to Merge PDF. So smallpdf.com, smallpdf.com. This is completely free. You're going to drag and drop your files here. Do I have PDF files saved? That might be a bad thing. I don't have any saved, guys. Yikes. So let me just save this. Um, all pages. That's good that I went to this. So if you don't want it for print, you can do standard and all pages, but you can split up the pages. Sometimes that makes, that helps it download faster. So I'm going to download it. And then I'm going to put that in the merge. Okay. So see how it pops up? Super cute. Okay, that looks really cute, actually. That looks really cute. Yeah, maybe I really should write this book. <laughs> I probably could write this book. Okay, so I'm going to do that. And now I'm going to put start. Start. I get really impatient. That's why I double click start one. And I'm going to download another copy of it just because we don't have two PDF files. <laughs> It's really basic and you can add a frame like there's so much that you can do in here But I'm showing you the basics so that this video isn't an hour and 15 minutes long So now I'm just gonna drag and you can do this on a PC as well So I'm gonna drag and drop that one and I'm gonna drag and drop uh, Let it upload and drag and drop that one And now I'm gonna merge them merging merging it's merged already and you can see you can put it to Dropbox you can um, split it again all that so now when I pull up this format look they merge together okay 
So that's really important. And then you can upload it to Amazon, your website, as a PDF file, and that's all that they require. So I hope that this is helpful for you. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Um, I adore you guys. You can also tell me if you really want me to write this book. <laughs> Now I'm kind of intrigued about what I would insert in it, you know, but it is what it is. All right. Until next time. Bye.